This is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. Today, I just have a quick video. I want to talk about this article that caught my eye. From the Express, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's family left isolated as Sussex kids missing out. Prince Archie and Princess Little Betty will be missing out on family time with their royal cousins, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, a commentator has claimed. Well, whose fault is that? I mean, right off the bat, if this is not gaslighting at its finest, I don't know what else is. So this article talks about Perez Hilton's comments he made on Kinsey Schofield's latest podcasts, Unfiltered, in which he said that he felt sadness for the Sussexes and their offspring, especially for their children because they're living such an isolated life. They have a large family and they're not getting to spend any time with them. Now, whose fault is that? Megan? The article says Hilton said he recognized Harry and Meghan's experience with the royal family was difficult, but argued family life is like that. He opined, you make it work. That's family. Well, why is it always so one-sided? Why are they so focused on the royal family? What about Meghan's family? Why is it that nobody talks about Meghan's family? These kids have a grandfather that is willing to spend time with them, wants to see them, wants to get to know them. Whose fault is it that these kids are living isolated? Now, I don't know why people are not challenging this narrative in which the article says Prince Archie was born in London, but his sister has only visited the UK once. Little Betty, who was born in the US, joined her brother. Meghan and Harry on a trip to Britain for the late Queen's Platinum Jubilee in June of 2022. I'm going to show you why I don't believe that in a second. But anyway, it says those celebrations coincided with little Betty's first birthday with the Sussexes organizing a party at Frogmore Cottage to mark the milestone. Harry and Meghan shared footage from Little Betty's Big Day in their Netflix docuseries. It showed the Duchess of Sussex holding her daughter in her arms as well-wishers and happy birthday around a pink birthday cake. A pretty pitiful birthday party for Little Betty, I might add. But nobody believes that that even happened or was even real. So the article continues on. I'm not going to bore you with the details because it's the same narrative that they keep repeating about how the queen met her great granddaughter, little Betty, and how Archie was doing his little chivalrous bows, according to Harry's memoir, Spare. I mean, they really are supporting the lies from this book and then giving the excuse as to why these children are not able to bond with their family. And that's because the cruel UK is not giving Harry back his security. So Harry chooses not to bring his children over there because he doesn't feel safe. Well, you know, we all know that that's a crock of shit. We know that none of that in what they're spinning here is actually the truth. Look, I just wish we could all get on the same damn page because it just appears like there's so many people out there who are tiptoeing around calling Megan out for what it is, a liar. Like the media drives me nuts at times. Like seriously, we have all these journalists and their focus is constantly on the royal family, what they're not doing and what they should be doing with Harry and Meghan. I understand that the royal family has more of a presence globally, but at the same time, so does Megan. And if you're focusing on Megan's family, I think there's a lot of stories that could come out. Like, why is it no one's focusing on Megan's mom's side and getting to know her black roots? I mean, if she's such a proud black woman, why is there no interaction for her children to integrate into black society? Just saying. Or how about Thomas Markle? All he wants to do is see those invisible children. And he's like, what, three and a half, four hours drive away from Megan? So to say that these kids are isolated, there's no excuse. There's no excuse for those children not to get to know some family by keeping them completely separated in God knows what type of environment that they have. They're not going to grow up normal. And I think it's very selfish of Harry and Megan to be doing this. And the fact that the media just pussyfoots all around it. It's like, oh, you know, it's very difficult for Harry and Meghan with the family. No, it's Meghan being an asshole. 
if you're in the camp that believes that there are two children that exist, then you have to say that Harry and Meghan are the two most selfish human beings on this planet. By not being able to put their differences aside and their animosity and instead put their children first and do what's best and what's right for them by allowing them to be around family because that's the healthy thing to do. No, they can't do that because they are too immature and they're too selfish. But if you're in the camp that believes that there are no children, then the longer that this charade and facade continues to go on, the more damaging it's going to be down the road for the institution. I can honestly see these crazy idiots coming up and concocting a story of how, and you know that they're going to blame the royal family if it turns out that there are no children. They're going to blame them and say, oh, the royal family kidnapped Archie and Lilibetti. Look what they're doing with Catherine. I wouldn't put it past these idiots to do something like that in order to protect their precious Megan. And if they truly do exist, then shame on the media and the public for not demanding to see proof of life. Because we don't know if Megan is abusing these children. I mean, as is, they're never with them. So I would say it's neglect, in my honest opinion. We're dealing with two pathological liars. Anything that they say about these children should be taken with a grain of salt and a demand to see some type of evidence of anything that they talk about regarding these kids. Otherwise, I'm sorry, but we need to challenge it. We need to speak up. We need to demand to see that these children are okay. And for all those ignorant sugars who say, oh, why do you want to see the children so bad? Are you pedophiles? No, the real pedophiles are the ones like Harry and Meghan who are constantly around other people's children. Now let's go back to the Jubilee in 2022. There's no evidence that those children went to the UK. And here we have on June 1st, the car allegedly that Meghan and Harry were in as they came into the UK. My question is, Archie and little Betty at the time would have been three and also little Betty would have been one. Where would they fit a car seat in this car? Also, would the parents be riding in this car and then put the kids in this van behind them? Especially since there's no security guard sitting in the front seat. I mean, if Harry's so concerned about the safety of his children and coming to the UK, you would think like as they always have with their security, someone sitting in the front seat to protect them. Now, when you look closer here, this van has no security personnel sitting in the front seat, so it's likely that it was being used to carry all their crap, which would make sense if the car before with the security guard in it was carrying Meghan and Harry. Hence, no place to put a car seat for either of those kids. So, my guess is those kids didn't go, and it was all another lie. Enter in Misan Harriman and his photoshopping skills, and there you have the perfect alibi. Now remember, there were witnesses as well as photos of the plane where there was no sign of high chair or stroller or any indication that there were children on that private plane. Add all of these little details, along with the story that Harry told in Spare about how the late queen had been rolling around with one of these invisible children, <laughs> And then you have to say to yourself, like, we're the idiots if we take any of this seriously and believe that those children went over to the UK for the Jubilee. I say that that's a boldface lie, another one added to the list. And it's annoying that Harry and Meghan think the public are fools by continuing to force these false narratives onto the public. I know what they're trying to do. They are trying to tell these lies over and over and over. So eventually it becomes the truth, but it's not going to work. The more they continue to keep putting out articles like this, the more that we're going to continue to keep raising these inconsistencies and details to make sure that they're held accountable. And all these writers, they keep putting out the same damn stories and recycling the same garbage. Do your fucking job. Otherwise, don't call yourself a journalist. There is a legit story about these children. Which journalist is going to step up and have the cojones to break it? Have we lost the fact that the media is responsible for holding the government and institutions accountable? Why is this topic so taboo to talk about in the UK? If the palace's strategy is to just ignore it, hoping that it will go away with their head in the sand, 
They need to think again because the voices need to get louder. This whole thing is so ridiculous. If I was a Brit, I would feel insulted that the institution doesn't respect the people enough to give the transparency that they are demanding, especially since there is a portion of their hard-earned money contributing to their lifestyle and their, essentially, job. I think it's the right of the people to know whether or not these two invisible children legitimately should be in the line of succession to the throne. This is not like a will. When someone passes away, this person gets the house. This is a constitutional monarchy, and it is a slap in the face when you have two people that have yet to be verified and validated that should even be there. This is the fabric of the UK, and you've got these two imposters who are trying to pull a fast one on the world. That's just my opinion. But anyhow, I know this is a little bit of a rant, but these headlines are so gaslighting that you have to speak out and you have to push back because the noise needs to get louder. Where are Archie and Little Betty? Definitely leave your thoughts below. As always, I will be back with more content. But until then, please be safe and I'll talk to you later. Bye. I was such a broad. Uh.